Now, the fear gripping North Highlands following this attack is now turning into a motivator for change. The tragedy has triggered a local church to start an indoor walking group in the name of safety and in memory of Fusako Petras. CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live now at the Liberty Towers Church with their new mission. Lamore? Sam Adrian, this local church group is calling out to seniors in the community not to give up exercising because they may be scared of what happened. We've long known walking may reverse aging. When I heard about this lady and the tragedy. That but happened, Paris Dye hopes it'll also revive her broken hearted community. I'm hoping that that fear doesn't grip us. The brutal beating death of 86 year old Fusako Petras hit so close to home, Paris decided to kick into action. Come out and just walk with us. She's inviting local seniors to her church's multi use gym to walk laps with her. And she's already got a system down. And every time you pass that point, you click. Armed with a pink clicker, counting how many laps she's walked, Paris says 20 laps make one mile, and she'll walk as many miles as she needs to to help calm the fear. It makes me sick. I'm, I was horrified. Friends tell us 86 year old Fusako Petras walked the tracks at Highlands High School almost every morning for three decades. She usually took a friend, as she did the morning she was killed, brutalized to death by a man believed to be motivated by sexual assault. Pretty surprised, especially that it happened at a high school. But that's exactly why Danae Hernandez is already signed up for the new walking group at Liberty Towers Church. And she has Moves. And she pulled up this old video to make the point. If previous walks here are any indication, she says, there is power in numbers. We should be combating whatever fears or anxieties or worries that we have and just living our life to the fullest. The walking group kicks off next week, twice a week, for free. For details, visit our website, cbs13.com. That's great. They're being vigilant, but not being crippled by fear. All right, Lamar Abrams, thanks so much for that live report. Emergency